Alrighty guys, it is Friday the 28th of October. We're going to be tackling Vitality CE by Agrabu and Rogadon. Now I don't have a medal for this. Which means that it's a different version of the track, because I've most certainly played this track. And so I'm wondering what would have changed, though I didn't play much of the one that I did play. This is a very high-speed grass map. With one section that I remember being very hard to avoid getting air on, so it didn't really matter if you got air on it. And it was... this section. It was before that little jump there. Okay, let me go over. I don't fully remember this. I have a general idea of what of how the track plays out. I, my hand has been very poised on the brake key, but I don't think I'll need it. Those flags are very helpful. And then this should be close to the end. We go down this way, and then we should be very close to the end. Okay, I do remember this track. So it should be pretty good. Already off to a pretty good start see how much we can get an improvement on. You probably want to do speed slides if you can. Lost a bit of speed there. The more aggressively I have to turn, the less speed I, I will have. I'm losing speed for that specific reason right now. Oh, okay, well. I'm surprised I even went into the finish there. Considering how I nearly fell off. I'm having, I'm, I'm keeping much more speed through being a lot more gentle with my turns. And so, like, this is very similar, this is like a full speed, except, I mean, it is a full speed. I don't break ever. It's just I'm not doing the standard, like, full speed speed slides. I'm doing grass. The full speed, if full speed included other surfaces. <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure the full speed genre is pretty much exclusively on the normal track surface. Because speed slides are like the main, th like one of the main things in full speed. Okay, I have fallen. I was too focused on possibly getting a speed slide, which may not happen there. Oh, dang it. 
I don't know if I want to be on the, like, on the very inside of that section, or if I want to take it a different way. My line through that is not yet decided. Not sure yet if that's what I want to do, but it's definitely a consideration. Don't want to get air there. Pretty bad. You don't want to get air there either. But this section was a lot faster. And then this part, I'm gonna try just being like really inside. Okay. Try to be really inside, but I failed. So I don't necessarily know if that's faster still. Grass is similar to dirt and that you want to take from outside to inside lines. But I think on grass it's much more important to do that. I'm kinda curious as to what the heck is the difference. I, know, I, I probably would still have that replay, but I I don't know if it got overwritten. Okay, I landed sooner in that one section. I don't know how much speed of that gained me. Definitely one of like the core wants in a, a run of a Trackmania track is landing sooner if you can. Generally applicable to all situations. Do that! Okay. Pretty sure I lost speed there because of that corner, but I did at least get an improvement. I mean, in reality, this track is very simple, but it's easy to learn, hard to master kind of thing. It's it's all about as it's all about steering as minimally as possible. Truthfully. And not crashing into the checkpoint, but that one was rather obvious. I wanna go. I wanna go wide. I wanna land as wide as possible there, but I don't. But that was too wide, obviously. So I wanna make sure I'm wide here. I'm gonna come down and I go wide here so that I don't get air time. Looks like I got a speed boost there, but I truthfully didn't. I lost 20 speed there for whatever reason. speed here. Landed sooner there. Got a lot more speed because of it. That was not a good speed slide and I missed. <laughs> huh. Pro tip. Don't drive off the track. It's a useful strategy when it comes to playing Trackmania. Fall off the track, you're generally not gonna win or complete the run. See, that seems crazy, but then again, I'm touching the ground for longer. Okay. This track feels like a track where the times at the top are going to be very optimized. More so than others. Because like with that ice track, even though there are people who are good at ice, ice is just kind of inherently more... more inconsistent. Even though it may be very consistent at the higher level, it just is more inconsistent because it's ice. 
and that a, mis a small mistake can be more time lost than a, than on some other tracks. And the way this track is built, with also the you know the surface, the uh, it just lends itself to being a track that seems like it's gonna be heavily optimized. Now there, I tried to land sooner, but I think I overjumped a little bit. The land sooner strategy is also very difficult, and I'm not trying to do it on purpose, but it is just happening. Really, I want to just like fall off the edge there. If I succeed in falling off the edge, I will. be rewarded with a longer time on the ground. Okay, make sure I don't clip the corner. There's point three. We're getting there. It shows the PA rank, which is concerning. It means that I'm unchanged. It stops showing the P rank whenever the PA rank whenever I'm third or higher. So if it shows if it if it pops up like that, I'm like, oh well, well it looks like I'm still still lower than maybe where I'd want to be. Don't hit the tree. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I really like getting these turns in such a way that I land them as soon as possible is definitely going to help. Okay, one second, Windows noise. Okay. Uh, let's watch a GPS. See if. It has any insights. 51.9 and 52.6, so there's 0. 0.6 to make up. a speed slide. Very high up to cut very... okay. Early. Not aiming necessarily for landing as soon as possible. That's fine. Aiming midway. Low, then to over. And then hitting that outside corner. So good thing to note because it's an outside corner. Really just like speed management. Okay, I will respawn, but I'm doing something. Okay. Let's do this. Time's up. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna crash into that wall very often. Okay. I've crashed. <laughs> Slow. And then I want to make a get a speed slide going there, but I also have to make sure I don't crash like I did there. Uh oh, yep. Saw that coming. Very easy to do exactly that. 
that line was not optimal. I can hear it in the engine and feel it in my car speed. Okay, you don't want to do that. Very slow. wide as you want. Not that wide, because I took it too wide. And then there's going to be a very little improvement because I could hear myself catching up. Seemed to have lost speed at the end there. edge I'm worried about. I mean, valid sign, valid flag placement. Got good speed. Lost some of that good speed. I'm surprised I didn't run into that tree. That would have been an improvement as I had more speed, I just was too greedy. I'll accept that. Why I'm not disappointed with my with my crash there. I'll accept my greed and correct it for the next run. Don't get air there; it's slow. And don't don't bounce that weird. If you're gonna go for the super airtime minimizing strategy, you gotta get the bounce good. Which involves a very, uh, tricky setup. If I don't see myself getting the weird bounce, I should make sure I correct it before it causes problems. I need to be f aiming further to the left there before... I have a lot of control over where I'm going on that road piece before I enter it, but once I enter it, it's kind of set in stone. I have to do a lot of prep work beforehand to make sure that my line has the speed slide in it and doesn't crash. I have so much more speed. Which is why I'm 1.5, or 0.15 ahead. My massive amount of end speed that I lost at the uh, end of my previous PB. This is um, Crash. <laughs> you know, as soon as I leave the ground for that jump, I know whether or not it's going to crash like that. Uh, <laughs> he says the next jump he does, he's unsure. 
Oh god, my frame rate. What the heck just happened? Okay. I'm pushing to the very edges of the track. I'm utilizing the full width here. Okay, you can't speed. Well, maybe you can speed slam that turn. It's not easy. And maybe not worth it. Okay. Really want to no slide that section. Ooh, and you don't want to hit that tree. That tr I'm, I'm curious if that tree is sticking into the trap a little bit. Because I don't think I... I don't feel like I went off the track. I thought I was going to get close to flying off the track. But I don't actually think I would have flown off the track. I actually think I hit the tree before I hit the edge of the track. Maybe that's not the case. Speed. Well, I lost it. And then I went through some grass. That doesn't help. I'm gonna crash into this bush. Need to be further to the right. Need to be aimed further to the right whenever I enter that last piece of track. So I think my, my whole line on that grass before it needs to change. How, though? I'm not sure yet. I will say that my line that I have for the other, for that section right there, uh, on that execution was pretty bad, uh, but I think I got it down, unless I do the crazy, the crazy stay on the track for longer strategy, which may or may not be faster. It just was faster when I was warming up to the track. I think I, you know, the way I was driving, the way, the line I was driving, I, uh, the, prob the probability of me doing exactly that and hitting that like that uh, was, was rising in my head as I got closer. It was already high. It's like a neural network, my brain. I see the line and I go, hmm, it's a high probability that I'm going to crash. It's a similar analogy to a neural net trained on identifying cats versus dogs. You give it a picture of a cat, and it's like, this is 98% a cat and 2% a dog. My brain saw that and went, this is 67% a crash and 30% a very close call. Oh, I clipped. That's unfortunate. I don't even know if that would have gained me any more speed. Okay, I need to be further to the left there. I want to get that transition without double bouncing. Make sure there's a ramp that forces me to get air once, but uh, if I can reduce that to only one time instead of two, I will uh, make sure that that is what happens. I didn't get the speed slide.
Make it. Oh my god, I was worried that I was gonna miss the finish by hitting far to the right. Okay. At least I got it. I'm so worried about the um, lack of road on the left side that I aim a little bit aggressively towards the right of the finish. Or right before the finish, obviously. But I'm, I'm, I'm an experienced driver on grass. I saw where my slide was sliding. I was extremely worried that I was going to fly off due to having too much sideways momentum. That's to be expected. That's not the first time I've crashed into that. And I can assure you, that won't be the last time I crash into that. Or that. Like two very well. 26 minutes in, I just looked. Maybe it was the last time I've crashed into that. This is one of those tracks that I don't even pay attention to how long I've been recording. Which is both a good and a bad thing for your track. Well, I don't know how it could be bad. Never mind, I take back my it's bad for your track statement. Bad for me. Because then I look over and I've been recording for 32 minutes and I'm like, well, crap, I should have ended the video two minutes ago. Oh, okay. I was right. That last time was not the last time that I'd crash into that. At least I am true to my word. Good speed. Very good speed. No, I went through the grass. My speed is gone now. I just have the time that I gained. Oh, and then I did this. <sighs> Am I ever gonna get that point three? We have, we have one and a half minutes. There's no way I'm getting that point three back. It's, it's just not happening. Especially if I do that. Ooh, okay. I wasn't confident about the previous time that I crashed into that corner, saying that it wouldn't be the last because of how close we were, but clearly I'd have been safe saying it on that one too. Though I'm pretty sure that last time that is the last time that I will crash into that corner. going to be a good run too. I was 0.2 ahead. Alright, well. That has been the track for today. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. We'll, we'll attack whatever track happens to be the track of the day for the day. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I will see you all later.